What's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, gut Windows 10 a bit to increase performance. So really quick, I'm first going to start off by opening Task Manager. Um, I do have some programs running, so Steam and stuff, so we won't see too much of a performance increase because I've already gutted Windows 10 quite a bit. But to start off, uh, the first thing you want is services. Um, the easiest way to get to here, uh, I've already got Cortana disabled, so I'll show you real quick. <clears throat> you want to go to uh, settings here, which I already have opened right here. This is going to be your new search function, essentially. Uh, you can find control panel through here. Or what we want right now is services, uh, which it's view local services. Already got it opened. Uh, this program right here, uh, or I should say list from Windows 10 is very important. This is the primary way to disable all of Windows 10 features that you do not want. Uh, the first one you may want to look for, and I re-enabled it really quick just to uh, get a quick update on something, uh, but the, the updater right now, uh, you want to disable that right off the bat. Uh, that's part of Windows 10 updates, but if you also scroll down to Windows, um, uh, where is it? Updater, updater, updater. Windows updater. Windows update. Here we go. Uh, you want to disable it. And by how you do this is you right click whatever service you want ended. Uh, the startup type, you put disabled, apply. And after you've gone through the list and disabled what you want, uh, you simply re restart your computer. <coughs> and it'll prevent it from starting up on the next uh, boot. Another thing you may want to disable is the Xbox Live stuff. Um, that actually takes up quite a bit of processing and memory power. And personally, I don't even use it. Um, you may also want to look into disabling Defender and everything else associated with that. It's quite a nuisance. Uh, it's always running. I can also show you really quick. Uh, Go into Task Scheduler. <clears throat> this is how to get rid of defenders and stuff from always constantly running and doing a scan, uh, which actually takes up could take up to almost 50%. Uh, so in Task Scheduler, you'll open a library. You'll go to Microsoft, do the drop down for that, and you can. There's two places. There's the Windows area, and there's also Windows Defender which might have a file there. I may have already deleted that, or this is just a instance. So you drop down Windows, you go down to Windows Defender here. You'll see there's about four things you may want to disable. Uh, I went ahead and fully disabled all of them, and I use a third-party program, but you can also go in and do some stuff like this. Uh, you can... Uh, Let's see here. There's certain settings. I mostly just disable them because the fact that it's always running is kind of ridiculous. Um, oh, you you want to uncheck run with the high, highest privileges if you do have it going. Because if it's doing that, it's just sucking up more power than it needs to be. It's kind of ridiculous. Basically, you want to go through and do it for all of them. Uh especially the clean uh not the cleanup the cleanup's okay to have but the scheduled scan you may want to have enabled if you're using defenders primarily but especially the cache maintenance oh my goodness does that get annoying uh, basically after that you just uh exit refresh make sure it went through and all that um so that's how to disable updates and all that you may also want to go through and disable uh, Cortana, which she is inc incredibly annoying. Uh, she could take up to 30% of your uh, disk uh, of disk on Task Manager. It could be really insane. Okay, to disable Cortana, there's a couple different methods. The first one, first of all, you want to get to Cortana. So, um. By the way, this does disable the search function directly on Windows, but you can still use, um, if you go to settings here, you can search for any program you want. 
Uh, I would also recommend just using file explorers, uh, search this PC. Uh, they were much better and more effective and do not take 30% of your processing power uh, normally. So um, what you want to do is find Cortana here on the list. Obviously I already have Cortana disabled. So basically it's the same thing as any other program. You right click, go to details, in the details, you want to right click and click uh, open file location. Now, an, another method to get to Cortana's thing, which by the way, the detail would be named search.ui, is go to C drive or where your OS is installed. Scroll down to Windows. From Windows, you want to go to system apps. And in the systems app, uh, you want to look for Microsoft.Windows.Cortana. This you want to right click, go to properties, and at the end of the property name, you want to put .bak. Now here's the real trick. It won't let you change the name with the service running. So you have task manager open nearby. What you want to do is right click and uh, end task. But before you hit end process on the pop-up, which it looks something like this, you want to drag this over right above OK click end process and click OK right right then and there as fast as possible. This way it'll change the name in the split second the service is down, which by the way, in case you're unfamiliar, every time you try to stop the service or detail, it instantly pops back up and goes back to sucking away your computer's life. So you click end process and you click OK, it'll change the name. And as soon as the name is changed, that uh, service or detail or whatever you want to call it, will not start back up. It's very, very simple and easy. And that's how you disable Cortana. And I hope all these tips and tricks help uh, in helping maintain your computer's uh, processing power a bit better. Uh, sorry for my voice. I'm currently losing it. And hope this all helped. So.